Greetings, my friends. Hurricane Harmony became the first hurricane to hit Florida in over a decade. And it, did, it was just getting started there. It hit all around the Panhandle, all around the Louisiana area. <coughs> now it's headed straight up the East Coast, tearing up everything in its path, heading all the way coast to coast, top to bottom of the East Coast, coast of Obama land, formerly America. If you research the name Hermony, the translation for that name is Great Warrior. God, Jehovah God, the Great Warrior God, is judging this once great nation of Obama land, formerly America. This once great nation has turned into a sinful, wicked, filthy, festering cesspool hellhole. I'm ashamed of what this country's become. I'm embarrassed what this country's become. And for those who say, well, if you don't like it, you can just leave. When you do 20 years in the military, including three frontline combat tours, put your life on the line for 20 years, come talk to me. But even so, I'll still speak my mind because I've earned that right. And I will say what's on my mind. And as a Christian, I've especially earned that right as an anointed man of God, anointed watchman, anointed pastor of God. I tell you the truth. I give you the hardcore truth. A lot of people don't want to hear it. I give it to you anyways because I have to stand before Jesus one day and give an account for why I did or did not preach the way the Bible says to preach. And I will not stand before him and not be able to say that I did everything possible through the Holy Spirit's empowerment to preach the truth and get the true word of God out there. It's just so sad to see this country. Look in Chicago now, every weekend. People, dozens and dozens and dozens of people dying. An endless number of people being wounded. All kinds of Muslim attacks everywhere. All kinds of, of craziness going on. All kinds of importing of illegal aliens. And all kinds of laws being broken by the government. All the way down to the people themselves. All kinds of natural disasters. All kinds of, of man-made disasters. All kinds of false flag disasters. Things that are just being brought upon us. Financial collapses upon us. Morality is gone. The church is almost dead. It's on its last leg of life support. Very few churches preach the truth anymore. Very few pastors preach the truth. Very few Christians believe or teach the truth anymore. This nation was founded on God. And now I know, I know that some of the founding fathers weren't the best guys in the world, but it was still a nation founded on God's principles like Israel was. And it still was godly up through the 40s, the FDR. And after that, it started to get worse and worse and worse. And now, like I said, we're in a pure, hellish nightmare. You think things are bad right now? This is just the beginning. It's only going to get worse from here. Things are about to happen. Things are happening so fast. Everything in Matthew 24, everything in the Bible that you see, that talks about the end times, the last days, before the harpazo catching away, rapture, and tribulation, are here right now. Nothing needs to happen but for God to give the word. And we are in the throes soon to be in the death throes for this world. And I'm telling you, this once great nation of, of, of Obama land, formerly America, is the great whore of Babylon. I've proven it. I've got the most viral video in the world on the planet on the great whore of Babylon. Go to YouTube, type in great whore of Babylon. My video is right up top. It gives you every single scripture that shows you that, the, that Babylon, the great, the whore, is not Iraq. It's not Rome. It is the United States of America, now Obama land. And the rapture might be the trigger that destroys the great whore. It might be after, but it might be at the rapture. But the Bible says the great whore is burned down to the ground to a crisp, to rubble. Every single human being living in this wicked nation, you're on, <laughs> you're on borrowed time, my friends, after the imminent harpazo catching away a rapture, because any time God can destroy this place in the wink of an eye. And that's how fast it happens. God says it happens instantaneously. Gone. You can just take it. God's going to wipe it off the map. Time is short. There's no do-overs. And when you take your last breath, I don't care what people teach. I don't care what people lie about. The Holy Bible says there is no purgatory. There's only heaven and hell. You spend forever in heaven or forever in hell in the lake of fire. No timeouts, no do-overs, no get-out-early card. It is what it is. Jesus Christ is your only hope. If you've never been saved or you're backslidden, pray the prayer, do the six steps in the box below the video because no one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you'd like prayer, Contact me. I pray for you every day. Christians, witness and pray daily at your job. If you're not doing it, do it now. And if you are great and look up, our dip and draw nigh. We fly soon. Bye.